This is Appetite for Life. I've come to one of the most beautiful places in New England to field test my own flavor of Ben & Jerry's ice cream, blow some life into molten glass, and turn apples into the juiciest donut you've ever eaten. Welcome to Waterbury, Vermont. Tucked against the gorgeous scenery of the Green Mountains, this itty bitty city may look quiet and quaint at first glance, but let me tell you, this is a perfect road trip destination, especially if you're a fan of ice cream. And if you are, you already know that Waterbury, Vermont is the home of Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream. Founded by two proud hippies, Ben & Jerry's is as well known for standing up for social and environmental causes as it is for its dozens of delicious flavors. Today I'm meeting up with Sean Greenwood, an honest to God grand poobah here at Ben & Jerry's. Check his business cards if you don't believe me. And he's offered to hand me the keys to the kingdom, at least for a little while. Okay, so we are doing chunky monkey ice cream today. Take a little sniff of this loft out of there. That's the stuff right there, that's the ticket. Oh boy! So we've got, with Chunky Monkey, two chunks, right. two chunk feeders. Walnuts on this side, the chocolate chunks on the other side. A two chunk feeder? It's a modern miracle of science. All right, where to next? We're going pumping that ice cream with the chunks added in, it's soft, it comes over here to this automatic filler machine. Drops down two pint cups at a time. Let's go do some testing. Come on, let's okay. go this way. Right. We're gonna... Knock, knock. This is a top secret flavor, so you can't, yeah, we, yeah, this is we a can't discuss what the name is. You can try a bite. This has been made for the first time, huh? Yesterday. Yesterday. Now, no say, no shouting it out loud. This is secret. That's right. You can really tell what it is, though, when you try it. That flavor. It's yummy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to play in the adult end of the pool. This, by the way, may be the best selling Ben & Jerry's ice cream of all time. That's a good combination. The good combination? We're, we're trying to be polite here. I understand it. The, the goal you guys is are awesome. we got to try to top this. Now you got to go out and make your own flavor. Good idea. Here we go. Oh, no. Now this is the flavor room. Flavors like Cherry Garcia, Chunky Monkey invented right here in this very room. Let's start off with the vanilla here. Yeah, I can tell you right now what's going to happen with these. It's peppermint. And here are the chocolate covered mints. That's looking pretty good. It's got a good color to it, too. It's got a nice little pink hue. The cool thing is now we get to take your flavor and try it with the masses. The hardest judges in the world are Ben & Jerry's fans that are going to say, does this match up to what they expect the Ben & Jerry's flavor to be? Oh, yeah. What flavor is that? It's called Andy's Candies. What do you think of this? Scale of 1 to 10. I'd give it an 8. An 8? <laughs> an 8? Hey, kids, what do you think? Do you like it? Is it good? It is? Don't get too enthusiastic! <laughs> now that we've covered the cold side of Waterbury, let's check out the hot side. That's hot as in 2400 degree blast furnace hot at the Little River Hot Glass Studio, where owner and glass master Michael Trimble has offered to teach me a little bit about the fragile art of glass blowing. Oh well, let my me gosh. show you how it's done. Okay, we got my blowpipe, it's a hollow metal rod. And then I'll take that, I'll dip it into my um, melting furnace where the glass is, and get out a little bit of glass. Call that a gather. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> there you. Okay, now I'm gonna go over there and roll up some little chips of color. And you're very gently gonna roll them up onto the end. That's it. Pick up the jacks. Now hold them like you're overhand stabbing. Other way, yes. Now, just, just ride it. Don't try to squeeze it. Just try to maintain contact. That's hot. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let go. Let me just, uh, and blow. Keep turning. Keep blowing. Keep turning. Okay. Okay. I'm just stunned that I've gotten it this far. You had good help. I want to make it a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, sit down with it and make it into a cylinder. Whew. And try not to hit the cameraman. They're expendable. Okay, yours. Yeah. Now very gentle. Just let it roll, keep it on center. Come on, long, smooth strokes. That's it. But you're going to help shape it. Oh, I see. 
You can open them a little bit so they stay on there. That's Woo! Ah. <laughs> you used to work in a kitchen, right? Son of a gun, that is just <laughs> wicked. So there's your tumbler. That is awesome. A little fire, a little ice cream, everything you need for a perfect day in Vermont. Throw in America's freshest apple cider and donuts and it only gets better. I'll have that for you in just a minute. Until then, I'm back on the road and I'm bound for Boston where I'm going to row on the Charles, help one of America's top chefs reinvent New England cuisine and actually conduct the Boston Pops. See you then.